Hi guys, Piranha from Team Russia is here. Today I'm gonna show you a short tutorial how to modify your favorite FPV Fetcher goggles. So everybody knows when you try to switch your goggles on, you should be very precise with this small connector, trying to fit it into your goggles socket. Also another annoying thing is this connector, which powers on your face plate cooling fan. Today I maybe can make someone's life a little bit easy. I want to install this little switch and this short pigtail into my goggles. I saw this modification from someone from the internet and today I want to repeat it with my goggles. So let's start. First of all we need to disassemble goggles. Switch battery off. Also remove antenna and all unnecessary doors, pop off the doors and module. And the second door. Also if you have face mask, face, face plate, you should remove it also. So be careful. Also you need to remove head strap. After that we should unscrew these three screws. One is here, one on the middle and one here. So now we can try to disassemble it. Uh, it has a tap here so you need to push your push by your finger on the middle here and carefully disassemble two parts of your goggles so here you can see this tab now be very careful and taps also here push your finger and now two parts in your hands be careful with with these wires so I think we need to remove the cable here so you need to push this little bl black plastic part all the way down and slide carefully your ribbon cable so now we have one more connector here so carefully remove it from your goggles. Also I think we need to detach this little cable so I need to cut the opening in this plastic wall of the upper side of my goggles. I found the smallest switch in my local store so Let's measure the size of it. It seems nine millimeters, eight point nine millimeters width and fourteen plus something millimeters in length. I don't want to make a messy hole, so I think I need marker and mark the opening on the plastic wall here. So to cut the raw opening I use soldering iron. So I melt the plastic, it's the fastest way, not so accurate, but you can tune it after. Thank you. 
thing we need to do is just to solder the wires to my switch usually I'm using this kind of clip to hold things which I'm gonna to solder so, need some soldering wire and some flux So I need to isolate contacts with the shrink tube. So the next step we need to find <coughs> where we can cut the power from the goggles. So here we have the power connector, I will use it to connect the switch to it. So we need to remove this small board from the goggle case. There is, it seems, only one screw holding it in place. So now we need to cut this contact which is going from the central contact of the socket to the board we should cut it here and then solder our switch here so to cut it I'll use again my Dremel tool be careful with your eyes I usually use the protect protective glasses so here we go cut carefully here and now we need to solder our switch in between now I can install my switch into the case and check the length, wire length it all the way inside our new opening so now you can see it look accurate and covered by the case of the switch so now we need to solder these wires back to the, to the circuit I want to add a small LED just to make uh, more visible when you when your goggles switched on or off. So I think that I let this small LED somewhere here. So I need to make one more additional hole for it. So I think I will I will make hole somewhere here. So once again I'll take my soldering iron LED I think 3mm so I'll take my drill bit 3mm and make a great opening have special tool for these cases so one thing I 
need to mention you cannot use just a LED <coughs> to power it from 12 volts you need one one resistor I think one 1k why 1k resistor should be enough for power it from 12 volts so we need to solder resistor to LED and a couple of wires so I'll do it and return to you shortly as you can see now I already soldered to the positive contact of LED 1k resistor and the wires so now I will isolate contacts with shrink cube and also I'll bend this contact to make it a little bit more compact and also use wider shrink tube so now now I'll check <coughs> that my LED is ok so I connect it to my lab power supply and check if it works ok as you can see LED working ok now I'll install it into the goggles case so I made an open here fit my LED inside and will fix it with my glue gun hot glue so now it seems LED on its own place so let's wait until the glue cooled a little bit down and after that we can continue assembly of the goggles Oh, I forgot to make one more hole for this pigtail so this pigtail is actually it's from my spare bed uh, 2S LiPo battery I remove the middle contact we just need positive and negative and no need the middle one so I remove it and throw it away so I will make one more hole here so wait a little bit I'll return to you soon here I am back again I made one more additional hole here so we can we can pull wires through this hole now everything almost ready we just need to connect all these to the power line of your goggles so we just need a little bit more soldering this contact is positive and I think this one is negative so we need to solder black here and red wires up here now I need to solder LED wires also here seems okay now the idea of this mod now we don't need this connector from your battery we we will take 
all the power for the faceplate cooling fan from inside our goggles so let me check switch it on so LED is ok cooling fan also working ok now check the switch LED goes off and cooling fan also goes down so everything is ok the only thing we have to do now to assemble it back so now a little bit messy with wires here but Now I start to assemble it back. Before I start to assemble my goggles back, I want to add LaForge uh, diversity system into my goggles. So it consists of two modules, two receivers, the main one and uh, diversity one. And in between it has such a cable so to install it i should pull the cable inside my goggles now my goggles already open so i'll take the chance and install it here the main module goes here and it has connector here so i need to make one more opening in the case of my goggles to pull the cable inside so I need to cut a little bit here I'll make it again using my soldering iron and then cut more accurate with my exacto knife so here I make opening now make it a little bit more accurate cut the excess of plastic with my knife and make it cleaner you can use files or your favorite instrument to make it I think now it's enough. Just let let me check. Yes. Here. Seems everything fit okay. You can use tape or you can use hot glue to fix the wire inside your goggles. I'll use my hot hot glue some drops of hot glue to fix the cable inside and diversity model goes here so some drop of Hold you will solve the problem. So seems everything is ready to assemble my goggles back.
also I already printed using my FDM FDM 3D printer I print such a nice fetch art doors to cover these modules it was created by Michael Peterson and you can find find those files on thinguniverse.com so it looks like like this so I printed it from ABS plastic initially it looks ugly like this but using some sandpaper and acetone and spray paint now it looks like this one so nice and shiny like the real one so now we can start assemble our goggles back so we should install back our screens it should go like this this way Careful with this ribbon cable. Open, open connector again. Moving this plastic thing out and try to slide, slide the connector part of the cable into connector and then close it and install screens back now you can you should move these these things all the way inside the goggles also you should move the sliders all the way inside the goggles to easily match these gears and these things on your screens you should not forget all the connectors slide the ribbon into your connector close this plastic thing we should fix this board back to the bottom part of your goggles so it's a little bit complicated but we should do it very carefully so put it back we have a little bit more wires additional which we add during our mod but it should be okay so screw back this small little screw to hold the board in its place use your Phillips screwdriver Here we are, and one more small connector should go here. So, no need any rush, be very, very, be very precise and careful not to break something inside inside your goggles so seems connector already in its own place now just put some wires inside and almost ready 
be careful with all these small small cables seems everything already on its own places now we can push and check so everything is okay so screw these three tiny screws back done now let's check connect battery switch on LED goes on the screen seems work ok now we can we can put the back our face plate back into the place now we only need to connect once this connector boom done no need anymore to connect your battery to the faceplate connector now it powers from inside your goggles let me check cooling fan works perfect now install my main diversity model LaForge the connector and diversity model also connect we need to connect check once again so now seems everything is working now we can install our 3D printed doors on its place perfect fit and this one perfect So finished. I hope that my tutorial was helpful for you. Sorry for my not so perfect English, but I hope my English is anyway it's better than your Russian. See you later. Bye bye.